fucking care? So the AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets a body. So how do we get him, Mackenzie? The Zen have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Be great. Where do I find one? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. using CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device.
curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell just in case. Along with the CIDs, Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained forced recursive feedback projector. That sounds like complete bullshit, even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. Be careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Yeah, 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 yeah I got this. It doesn't matter, just pick one. Uh, what did you do? Touched it. Well, touch it different next time. Oh, Kinsey. Don't pin this on me. These things are broken. How far away do I need to be? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. What was this whole thing gonna take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. Alright, this spot looks good. Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the Zin have a way of finding these devices remotely. Shit, they found us. Don't let them take the CID! Work fast! Things usually take like three to five tops. Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant, and this might go faster. Why didn't we go there first? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. We'll sit down, look faster? Well, probably, but... We're taking this thing there. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Shondi? I, uh... I think we should get one. Miller? Oh my god, why? Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steel Joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and... You know, he's... Useful. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this cyber what's it. Maybe you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without nothing. Really. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Set it up. You're gonna be the 
president. Flip the switch and done. Excellent. How long now? <laughs> uh, can Kenzie? That's just part of the process. Apparently the sweary part of the process. The full download should only take about 16 minutes. Is there anything you can do to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Personality transfer at 31%. I found an access point that can help speed this along. Get to it and activate it. Found it. Second access point out further. Access points are online. How's the download looking? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast. Sid is overloading. Overloading? Overheating. Get to him and cool him down. Okay, okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How long until the download's done? Three minutes. Good. So give me just enough time to fight off a few waves of sand. What? these murder bots Murder bots? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a stronger reaction. Instead. Do you really want to give some rogue AI an skeleton equipped with a complement of weapons and a history of violence? Whoa. Well, besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity.
Oh my god, why does this hurt so much? Personality transfer at 74%. Data bottleneck encountered. It's full of stars. So much for a hard fight. Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh God, I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh Sid, Take him down, and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. Fire. Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. It has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Okay, now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shield.
nice job. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak! That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant, the winner of Genki Bowl 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a fat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together? Conquering worlds and abducting the biggest badasses each planet has to offer and pitting them against each other in a superpowered fight to the death? Bobby, are you feeling all right? Or they can team up against an army of mascots, flaming mascots, arms, rocket launchers, and RPGs. <laughs> That's a fine dream, Bobby, but as you know, the world's biggest badass was locked away and ended for our Excellent job by our contestant. Thank you. 
Damn.